The DU men's hockey team is celebrating its 10th national title. The Pios beat Boston College 2 to nothing over the weekend. Now the team is back home in Denver. Let's take a live look into the celebration. Well, hi everybody. How we doing? I have just one question and that's how does it feel to be the most successful college hockey program in history? Pretty darn good. My name is Connor McGahee. Currently, I do the play-by-play -play for the Colorado Avalanche 2022 Stanley Cup champions. Any Avalanche fans in here? 2022 is great because we were all here doing this again, weren't we? 2022 national champions. And now we're back again for 2024. I am a proud alum of the University of Denver. And over the last... <laughs> Over the last 20 years, we have watched DU win five national titles. No other school in that time frame in the United States of America has done that. And I remember sitting right there in that seat, in that section, watching that screen and watching Adam Burkle and the Denver Pioneers beat the Maine Black Bears back in 2004. And, yep, and that started this run of modern dominance that the University of Denver hockey program has put on college hockey, including winning three championships since the year 2017. I would like to welcome you to this championship celebration. We're all used to this by now. Who was here in 2022 when we did this? I know. I remember every single one of you. I do. Uh, we just made history here with Crimson and Gold. We are not Denver, we are Tenver. One more than Michigan, two more than North Dakota, and that one feels pretty good. Ten national titles for University of Denver hockey, 35 for the university overall. Your support makes Magnus and this campus one of the best places for college athletics in America, so thanks goes to all of you. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome the Vice Chancellor for Athletics and the Ritchie Center Operations. We all love him, Mr. Josh Burlow. Hello, Pioneers. Good evening, so we're gonna get started pretty quickly here. Couldn't be more excited to be with you. Thank you for being here to commemorate this incredible milestone. Now, I think Connor set the tone, but when you are moved to cheer, do so and do so loudly. I'm gonna share a little bit of history to start. In 1864, in the shadow of the Rocky Mountains, this great university as we know it today was started. And about 75 years later, in 1948, on the heels of record enrollment following World War II, they decided to start a college hockey team. What a decision that was. That very first year, they won four games and had 13 losses. But if they could see that team right now, I think they'd be pretty happy. Within the first 10 years, Denver Hockey won its first national championship in the state of Minnesota five miles from where this team was 48 hours ago. It took 75 years to get where we are today, but the program continuously rose to the top of the heap that is college hockey. From the Broadmoor to the barn, from the Battle on Blake to Boston, and back to Ball Arena in 2025, I hope you saw the news today, Our incredible DU fans have been there with us. You showed up in St. Paul in incredible numbers. The energy was felt, the passion was there, and you took over the city. We thank you for what you've done. In the last 75 years, there have been three constants for this program. One, incredible student athletes and coaches that have led it, who have built a championship excellence and are committed 
to being the best that they can be in the country, and they've proven that now. Thank you to the fine young men on this team and how they represent DU Hockey, how they represent the University of Denver. Their culture and their commitment is second to none. We also have the best coaching staff in the world, folks. I think you all know that. There is no question that Coach Carl and the entire staff has led this team to unprecedented heights and currently reigns as the best team in the country. We also want to thank the families that make all of that possible. The late nights, the early mornings, the airport runs, and the meals. All of it is here because of the families that support our coaches and student athletes. <laughs> Two, a university that has been committed to Denver hockey for three quarters of a century. To have Chancellor Hafner and Chancellor Ritchie with the team for this milestone was one of the coolest things I've seen in the three institutions in 25 years of my career. Big hand for Chancellor Ritchie and Chancellor Hafner. But our Denver Pioneer fans, you've been with the team the whole way. And we know it and we appreciate it. You bring passion and energy that had Magnus Arena at 102% of capacity this year. Now, please turn your attention to the video board to relive the journey to the Frozen Four. And as always, go Pios! To the Frozen Four for the 19th time. Wow. And that's only part of the journey. The rest will come in a little bit, but we're missing something out on the ice, aren't we? This is not complete. There's a lot of empty chairs. I feel like we need to welcome your 2024 NCAA national champion, Denver Pioneers, don't you? You know the drill, you're on your feet. Here they come, the pride of crimson and gold, your University of Denver Pioneers. Those are some big smiles out there and then out here. Well, we're almost complete. Josh mentioned a second ago that we have the best coaching staff in the country, and because of a certain gold medal that the United States won at the World Juniors, the best coaching staff in the world. Let <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Richard and Kitsia Goodman head coach of Denver Hockey, David Carl.
And you know, it's not just the head coach, it's an entire staff, as you can see. It just doesn't run by itself. A program takes hours of dedication from so many people. A lot of them are up here, many of them aren't. So please give it up for all of those who make Denver hockey happen on a daily basis. Well, now it's time to hear from the team. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome number six forward, your DU captain, McCade Webster. Bring the trophy with you too, McCade. We'll start this off with, uh, how about Maddie Davis? Seriously though, all time Hall of Fame, Maddie, you're the absolute man. You saved me, I was in the penalty box when it happened, so thank you. Um, but seriously though, we, today we stand together as champions, we'll walk together forever. Um, looking, at, looking at the final game, Jared Wright, the best kid I know, getting us on the scoreboard early. Unbelievable. <laughs> Followed up by Rieger. <laughs> Ripped one in the corner, top shelf, unbelievable. Decent play from the little man, Zeeb. Decent play. Um, but seriously, um, we're the 10th, you know, this is the 10th national championship this program has won. We're the belt holders right now. We went piles. It's not let's go, we went. We did it. We're the belt holders. We did it. Um, but these guys put everything into this. They gave everything they had. I love these guys to death. Um, almost makes me emotional looking at them. They're the best humans in the world. They give everything they had for this program. Um, so happy to get to know them and, and, and experience that, that, this with them. We'll, we'll go down in the history books. I mean, 10th national championship, how about now? So. But thank you guys. You guys make this so special for us. The fans, you, you guys have been unbelievable to us. We, we had the best support up there in Minneapolis. I'm sure if, if you guys weren't there and, and watched on TV, Josh set up a sweet thing, got the band for us, got all our families set up, and we had towels rallying, and they were letting us know all game. So it was unbelievable seeing the support in Minneapolis for us. But um, it, it, it's so special to do this for you. We, we love it just as much. Um, I'd like to thank everyone in the staff, everyone that is behind the scenes, the rink staff, Mel, Gabe, Ryan, Dez, Coop even. Um, Ron, you do a great job. Uh, <laughs> um, but Lou, Ashlyn, I don't know if we would have half the team playing right now without you guys. They really stitch us back together to, to win. Um, and to our coaching staff, like, you guys are the best in college hockey. You guys are unbelievable. Um, I really love you guys. Yeah, we've been, we've been through a lot. Like, me and this coaching staff, truly, you guys are the best. I, I truly love you guys. Um, DC, you've done so much for, for me and, and all these guys that you have around you. You've, you've made us better people and, and better humans. We hope, you all, you hope, we hope all of you guys stay forever, but especially you, DC. We hope you don't leave and stay forever. Yeah. 
All right, but uh, I'll end it off here. Um, we went Pio's 10th national championship. How about now? I'll be sitting watching for the 11th next year when these guys go and grab it next year. I'll be cheering them on in St. Louis. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. McCade Webster. Now, I, he mentioned David Carl, and I told a little fib to David a moment ago. He said, I don't have to talk, do I? Well, yes, you do, head coach. Ladies and gentlemen, David Carl. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome um, to our team. These amazing young men, uh, they worked so hard this year to get to this stage, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. I want to thank, firstly, um, our Chancellor, Jeremy Hafner, for being here, being so supportive of not only our hockey program, but our athletic department. Has a great understanding of what athletics does for young men and young women in their lives, and, and really what joy that brings for our community. And he's behind us all the way, as long as our, as, as well as our board of trustees, who's led by John Miller, um, does an amazing job. We have total unity between our board and our, and our chancellor to the importance of athletics. And without that, none of this stuff happens. So thank you to them. Uh, we would not be here without you. Um, into our athletic department, um, our AD, Josh Burlow, uh, he had won a few times somewhere else, but we're getting him used to winning here, so that's, uh, that's great to see. Yes, and uh, our Deputy Athletic Director, Lynn Cooch, she is uh, instrumental in helping our staff, helping our kids. Uh, it's been mentioned many times, our staff. Um, very blessed to work with the men and women on our staff. So much that they do goes unnoticed, but Tavis McMillan, uh, Dallas Ferguson, Ryan Massa, Travis Colhane. Matt Shaw, Nick Meldrum, Aaron Liu, Ron Knabenbauer, um, and many others. There, there's, there's so much that goes on to, to help these young men and to put things like this on. Um, it's no secret our staff has been together really for a long time now. I think it really has helped in the stability of our program and uh, allowed us to achieve all these heights. So thank you to them. Uh, lastly, Jay Stickney. Uh, have to thank him. Best call of an end of a game I've ever heard is unbelievable. Jay did an amazing job. Um, our program, 1958 was the first championship. Uh, 1960, 61, 68, 69. Went through a bit of a lull. Uh, took 35 years to get back on the mountaintop. And uh, we had some great seasons then. Obviously I'm young, but I know the history of our program very well. The school uh, was struggling in the late 80s, early 90s. And without Dan Ritchie, uh, Joy Burns, and Bob Magnus, we'd be nowhere. We'd be absolutely nowhere. And what they created or recreated um, in 1999, building this building, elevating the whole department to Division I. At that time, in 1998, Michigan had nine, we had five. And over the last 25 years, We've not only caught them, but we've now passed them in 04. And it's just, uh, it was so fitting that, that Mr. Ritchie could be there uh, with us in St. Paul to be able to experience it on the ice. Um, couldn't have asked for a better way to celebrate our 10th championship um, than with him. And now we are the, we're the indisputable um, best program in college hockey. You could have argued it a couple months ago, but you can't argue it anymore. The best college hockey program is in Denver.
And then lastly, I want to thank our players. Um, none of this happens without their dedication, their commitment to each other. Uh, last year, stung like hell, losing the way we did. And I think the eight guys who were on our 22 came in and they were hungry. And I think a lot of people doubted them with our youth and the inexperience that we had. Uh, but they stuck together. They bonded early. You could see it. It all starts with our captains and our leadership group, McCade Webster, Carter King, Connor Capone, and Massimo Rizzo. Did an unbelievable job. And I really think one of the reasons we talked about it, probably after that 7-2 loss at home um, in this building against Western Michigan, that the adversity that we were facing this year was gonna be a really good thing for us. It was gonna make us battle tested. I think the fact that we were anywhere from three to six in the NCHC standings from December to February, it was a great thing for us. We had to learn how to battle and compete the right way in playoff hockey, and it, it certainly paid off. Uh, to only score eight goals, uh, it's the lowest number to ever win a championship, eight goals in four games. Matty Davis, I know we've applauded him. The, the transformation, um, you know, Matty was a three-year starter in junior, played two year, or a year in Spruce Grove, two years in Green Bay. Um, came here out of backup Magnus Corona for two years, got injured in the first half after five games. Um, found his game uh, through January and February, working with Ryan Massa. He put so much time and effort into his game. Our team put time and effort into how we wanted to defend, and they really bought into it. And I don't know if there's ever been a guy to only let in three goals and really five hockey games when you add up the overtimes in the national tournament. An unbelievable job. It's, this was in my speech, but I'm seeing on this bullet point, it says Matt Davis recorded a 9.86 percentage at the Frozen Four, tying the record in the tournament's history, first set by a one Ken Dryden in 1967. That's uh, pretty good, that's pretty good. Ken Dryden. Is that good? Um, lastly, I just, I wanna thank you fans um, this is a, it's a total family feel here. Many of you are generational season ticket holders. You've been here from the, the beginning with your family in this community, and we're so proud um, to represent you, to represent our school um, on the biggest stage of college hockey, and I'll just tell you, we're not done yet. Um, we're gonna continue to go. Now we get to break our own records, and there's no greater challenge and joy than doing that. So thank you for being here to celebrate with us. Enjoy the night, thank you so much. You know, when we all close our eyes, I think we see that Matt Davis save in our dreams, right? Everybody from Boston sees that save in their nightmares. Mark Rycroft and I at Altitude Sports, also a proud DU alum, uh, literally have watched that save on a gift about a thousand times. And I'm sure all of you have as well. Well, it's a great honor to welcome one of DU's biggest hockey fans. He's the 19th Chancellor of this great university. Ladies and gentlemen, Chancellor Jeremy Hafner. All right, Pioneers, I'm gonna borrow something from the gymnastics team. 10, 10, 10, 10, join me, 10, 10, 10. 10, woo! DU is the only university with the most number of national hockey championships. That's the Denver difference! You know, there were so, so many memories of this hockey season. 
I wonder what was yours. Was it the save? Was it the game-winning goal in overtime that went between the legs of one defensive man and then between the legs of the goalie? Or was it that 270-degree blind pass that set up the final goal of the final game? While these are truly memories we will all have, the best memory for me is how this team played like a team. How instead of taking a shot at the goal, they instead passed it to another player who had a better chance and then made the goal. Teamwork. This is what sets our pioneers apart from other teams. And it's proven by the joy they showed when the clock ticked 0.0, .0 the bench cleared out, and they all piled on top of each other to celebrate. That's my favorite part, my absolute favorite part. Teamwork. That's character. And like all of our student athletes, these men demonstrated character that we can be super proud of hard work, collaboration, mutual su support. And this is not surprising because they have, and they know they have, the best coach in hockey across the country in David Carl. And what's more, the best coaching staff Tavis, Dallas, and Ryan. They also have the best trainers, sports medicine, equipment handlers, and operations people. David Carr, there is not a person in this arena right now who disagrees with you when you said, we have the best collegiate hockey program in the nation. Well, let's also give a huge, huge shout out to the DU Athletics Division under the leadership of Josh Burlow. From the pop-up swag shops to the Adina Pep Band and our own cheerleaders, the Athletics Division rocked it. And oh, by the way, every single one of those Adina Pep Band members will be getting an extra scholarship from the University of Denver if they matriculate here when they're ready. And we want them. OK, the best and loudest shout out goes to our fans. Coach Carl already remarked, but you can't say enough. You are the best. We had a fantastic fan base at the Excel Center, and they were loud and proud. Your support is inspiring to the players, the coaches, the staff, to all of us at the University of Denver. Now, all this, all this adds up to this simple fact. DU Athletics is vital to this university, to this city, and to this state. Athletics is a model of character, and God knows our country needs character. Athletics is a reputation builder. It's the front door to this university, constantly reminding people that excellence is synonymous with DU. And athletics is a unifier, especially when we reach the summit like we did on Saturday. It's tremendous about pulling people together and sharing a common bond. Thank you all for your support. And let's go Denver!
He can have whatever he wants. I'll give it to you afterwards if you want. <laughs> so we've heard from the coach, we've heard from the captain, we've heard from the AD and the chancellor. As you know, we've been deemed the hockey capital of the country. That was solidified on Saturday with DU's national championship. And it started back in 2022 where we had a national high school championship, a collegiate championship, and a Stanley Cup championship. Denver is the hockey capital of the country. It's not Boston, it's not Minneapolis, it is Denver, Colorado. And I'd now like to introduce the mayor of that city, Mr. Mike Johnston. Hello, Denver! That is my first time I'm going to do that introduction. It sounds pretty good, gentlemen. Thank you so much for making that possible. Uh, uh, I am excited to share a lot of good news tonight. Um, I do have a little bit of bad news I do have to share. Uh, uh, as mayors, we're friends, and so I did get a call last night from Melvin Carter, who is the mayor of St. Paul. Um, and he sent me over uh, an arrest warrant this morning. Uh, apparently, they want Matty Davis on 35 counts of highway robbery. What's up, man? Unbelievable. Um, I am, you know, in, in gymnastics, when you land the perfect uh, routine, they call it a perfect 10. Uh, I'm going to dub this save the perfect 10, Maddie, because that save is what made possible the 10th title. Fantastic, fantastic delivery. Uh, I will say to the guys in here, I actually was a hockey player myself. I was a goaltender myself. Uh, so it was incredible to watch what I think will go down in history as the greatest goaltending performance in the Frozen Four. Uh, that was remarkable. But I also, I also know as a goaltender, it is about every time your defenseman lays down on the ice to take a shot for you. It's about every time they give up low percentage shots and not high percentage shots. It's about playing good offense. It opens up the defense. It is about every one of the team members here who said, yeah, we will take a team who is the highest scoring team in the country, and we will for the first time in 385 days put up a shutout. That was stunning. They literally had not, they had not been shut out since March of 2023 until the national championship game. That is remarkable. Um, uh, and uh, Zeev and Lorenz just want to say one of the most beautiful goals we've seen uh, in the final four. Incredible way to start the night. Uh, it was just a constant tribute to your teamwork and your success. Uh, I just want to say one more thing, which is uh, I had a coach who used to say, uh, sports don't build character, they reveal character. And when you guys think back to what you faced a year ago, to go out in the Frozen Four, have to start all over, a whole season of off-season uh, off training, preparations, sprints, injuries, uh, and you have left now a piece of history in this city and in this stadium. You'll come back 50 years from now with your grandkids, and your band will be hanging up there. Yeah. And you will say that you were the ones that made Denver the greatest of all time. You were the ones that made us the first ever to get to 10. By the time you're back then, we'll probably be at 20. But you were the first ever to get to 10. And I just want to say that you have given this city and this university an incredible gift. But I also think this game has given you a great gift, which is I hope what you walk away from this with is a couple of beliefs. One is you were willing to dream something that seemed probably impossible. Could you get to 10? Could you come back and win after not? You were also willing to say you would commit whatever was required every single day to deliver that. And the third was you would lay down in traffic for each other if that's what it took to be able to deliver a victory. And those same things that led you to be the greatest on the night, this ice, will lead you to that greatness and whatever you do after this is done. That ability to set big goals, to stand by your team, and to commit all that's required to deliver will help you make history not just here, but to make history for the rest of your lives. We are so grateful for what you've given to us. 
We are grateful for what you've given to the city, and thank you for making Denver the undisputed hockey capital of the world. Thank you, Denver. Well, whether you're a student, an alum, an administrator, staff member, season ticket holder, or just a casual fan who happened to just watch two of the greatest hockey games we've seen in a long time, family member beyond, city official, if you wear crimson and gold, this championship and every championship here at DU, we share with you. They want it on the ice, but together at the University of Denver, we are all champions. Now, earlier we saw part of the journey to win this 10th national championship. Now, it's time to watch the rest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the champions. Absolutely outstanding. It's a day that obviously we all will remember, but they will remember more than anybody else. And David Carl mentioned it a moment ago, moments have to be captured. And everyone has to show up in the moment. And Jay Stickney, with his call, the moment that the U won, that's, he, he absolutely nailed it. Matty Davis nailed it, the Denver Pioneers nailed it, and Jay Stickney captured the moment. He did a great job all season long, always does, but Jay Stickney with a wonderful call. Let's give a round of applause to the play-by-play -play announcer of the Denver Pioneers. What a year it's been, and we're still going strong. Again, we thank you for your continued support of Denver Hockey, the athletic department overall, and the University of Denver. We have one last item of business, which has become a true DU family tradition. You are just standing. I ask you to please stand again. Pretend it's the third period, just under 10. Ladies and gentlemen, Country Roads. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, on behalf of our entire University of Denver Pioneer family, as a proud alum, I started my broadcasting career with this hockey program, and even before that, in the penalty box over there. Along with all of you, we have watched this program journey over the years from bad to good to great. So thanks for having all of us here tonight. It's been an honor to be here with you. Just a just a few friendly reminders before we go. Championship merchandise is available tonight on the West Concourse over there. Ticket representatives are available to assist you with tickets for next season when we win the 2025 National Championship. The team trophy will be on the concourse in about 10 or 15 minutes uh, and they will be signing commemorative championship posters as well. Trophy and team will be on the concourse in about 10 or 15 minutes, so stick around for that. And lastly, check your media outlets for some big DU hockey news coming your way. It may be out there a little bit, but stay tuned tomorrow morning as well. Thank you to the best fans in college hockey. Until we get 11, 
We've got 10, and we've got the national champions. Thank you.